A research is a process of systematic search for verifiable truths about a problem phenomenon. Hence, this systematic search requires developing a systematically organized approach, which is called the research protocol. The research protocol of a public health research paper includes the introduction, the literature review, the methodology, the results, and finally, in chapter 5, we have the discussion, conclusion, and recommendation. In developing the discussion, include a short introduction to review the purpose of conducting the study. Secondly, give a discussion regarding the outcome of the study guided by the research questions. Thirdly, include the implications of the findings in the study in the context of the literature reviewed. Also, under the discussion, give details of the distinct contributions of the study to the body of knowledge. And after the discussion, we have the conclusion. The study comes to an end with a conclusion. The conclusion must be derived from the findings and not the researcher's perspective or personal opinion, but the data derived, because the data is speaking at this time. The best way to conclude is to present the summary of the implications of the research hypothesis in the context of the problem phenomenon. And finally, we have the recommendation. In the course of the implementation of the study, there may have been certain constraints or limitations encountered. The researchers will articulate strategies to overcome this in a future study. Also, findings from the study that have important application related to the problem phenomenon may be presented as recommendation for practice. This protocol is the gold standard in writing a public health research paper, and a reference should be included after this protocol. A recommended referencing style is the upper style 7th edition. If this was helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers!